Cinderella. Once upon a time, there lived an unhappy young girl. Her mother had died, and her father had married a widow with two daughters. Her stepmother died, and her own daughters. Nothing was too good for them. Dresses, shoes, parties, whatever they wanted. But for the poor unhappy girl, there was nothing at all. Her dresses were her stepsisters' hand-me-downs. Her dinner was nothing but scrapes. Her day was filled with hard work. Only one evening came. She was allowed to sit. For a while, by the fire near the cinders, everybody called her called her Cinderella. One day, beautiful new dresses arrived at the house. A ball was to be held at the palace, and the sisters were invited. Cinderella didn't ask if she could come. She knew very well what the answer would be. Instead, Cinderella began her chores. She washed the dishes, scrubbed the floors, and made the beds. I am so unhappy," she said. Suddenly, when Cinderella was all alone, a fairy appeared. "Don't be alarmed," Cinderella said. "The fairy, I am your fairy godmother. I know you'd love to go to the ball, and so you shall." But I'm dressed in rags," Cinderella sighed. The fairy godmother smiled and flicked her magic wand. Cinderella found herself wearing the most beautiful dress she had ever seen. Cinderella was speechless. Now for your coat," said the fairy godmother. "Bring me a pumpkin." Then the fairy godmother turned to the cat. "Bring me seven mice." Cinderella soon returned with the pumpkin and the cat with seven mice. With a flick of her magic wand, the fairy godmother turned the pumpkin into a sparkling coach. Next, she turned the mice into six white horses and a coachman. Cinderella could hardly believe her eyes. There is one condition. Said the fairy godmother, "The magic will wear off at the last stroke of midnight, so you must be home by then." I will thank you, fairy godmother," said Cinderella, beaming. Cinderella had a wonderful time at the ball, dancing with a prince himself. Then, when she heard the first stroke of midnight, without a word of goodbye, she slipped from the prince's arms and ran down the steps. As she ran, she lost one of her slippers. Still, away she fled, wishing into the night. As she ran, she lost one of her slippers. Still, away she fled, vanishing into the night. The prince was now madly in love with her. He picked up the slipper and said to his ministers, "Search everywhere for the girl whose foot this slipper fit. I will never be happy until I find her." The ministers tried the slipper on the foot of every girl in the land until only Cinderella was left. That awful. Lonely girl, simply cannot have been at the ball," snapped her stepmother. "The prince ought to marry one of my two daughters. Can't you see how ugly Cinderella is?" To everyone's amazement, the shoe fitted Cinderella perfectly. The fairy godmother appeared and waved her magic wand. In a flash, Cinderella was transformed in an elegant dress. Cinderella shone with youth and beauty. Her stepmother and stepsisters scoffed at her in amazement. The ministers had found the prince's love. Cinderella and the prince married the very next day and lived happily ever after.